morning everybody, it's really really cold today um, but I'm working on a very exciting project, a project actually I've been working on since September. Uh, I've teamed up with Percival again, Chris from Percival, he's a good friend of mine now. Uh, you may remember like the beginning of last year, um, I designed with him like um, a coat very similar to this one and then like a corduroy sort of um, layer for like a kind of a, a mid layer underneath it. This time we're making bags, uh, he's never done bags before. So we've been kind of working uh, together for the last sort of the last like five months um, on these things, and they look really, really good. We finally got the um, the finished things now, so we're on a shoot around sort of East London to um, show you what they're capable of. So I'm shooting this video on the 28th of January, but actually what you're going to see is kind of a bit of a story back from September and like a few of our design meetings before you kind of come back to today, which is sort of behind the scenes of um, what we're up to. Welcome to kind of like the design session number one. We've got like loads of uh, mood boardy stuff here. We've got yeah. a few items here. We've got loads of fabrics in front of us. We're basically just going to chat. Clips off and on yeah. really nicely. Investment piece bag that you're going to use all the time. Uh, it's got to be pretty waterproof. Good morning everybody. So it's about five or six weeks since I last spoke to you. Um, Chris has been very busy. <laughs> I've not. Well I have, but not doing this project because nothing else I could do for the time being. So he's been off um, at like factories and getting a few prototypes together, finalising the fabrics and all that sort of stuff. He's made, I believe what I'm doing now is going to his studio because he's made um, an option for me to kind of critique and feedback on. So that's the plan. See you in there. Chris's new studio is in my new favourite place. There's a giant tortoise um, with no legs. Oh, and a big, like, chest cavity. Okay. <laughs> I'm into it though. It's made out of tyres. Oh, it is made out of tyres. <gasps> that is incredible, isn't it? Oh my God, I didn't even notice that. Wow. So, Chris, your office is even cooler on the inside than it is the outside. Thanks, yeah. How's shared shared space. The new home. Yes, nice. Nice and uh, cold. We're currently discussing um, all the plants he has, because I was saying that I kill every plant I've ever seen. But look, look, they're up there. That's effort. And then there's more there. Yeah, but I don't... This water. one's my favourite. You've got like a platy plant over here. Yeah. Have you, and how, how is I that even... I've that myself. <laughs> <laughs> over the course of millions of years. Um, and also, we've got the bags is here as well. Um, I'm very impressed with, with the work he's done. So we've got, got three options. Well, not even options, they're three, three, three designs three that we're going to work with. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to talk about them too much in this video because obviously we're going to show you the real thing at some point. But um, this is kind of like an everyday thing. It's sort of a, a travel y backpack, and this is like a big old sort of weekend y, um, or maybe even longer than a weekend duffel. They look great though. Well done, mate. The idea being that basically Percival are taking me um, around spots that they really like and at each location um, we are setting up a little competition for Instagram stories so people can win um, one of the bags that we designed. So All Press is like a really cool coffee shop I've never been to before um, but they roast their own beans and you can obviously buy coffee there but you can, they also distribute it to like the UK and EU. Um, so we're going to go in there and shoot some stuff. Burger joint called Filth. Uh, you can actually see the crew in there. 
everyone. All right, they're already in there setting up. So the place actually opens at midday, but we've got it for an hour before it opens, and we're getting like three vegan burgers uh, and talking about. I think we're doing the one in the backpacks at this location. Honestly, I don't know much about what's happening because I think Chris wanted to keep the paces as a sort of a surprise. Um, so I'm kind of experiencing it on camera for real. So um, let's go get some free burgers. If you're not vegan, would you know? And if it does, does it taste better than meat? Regardless of the sustainability, which is obviously. That is. Oh wow. It's off the hook. So our final stop is Red Church Townhouse, uh, and we're working on the final bag here, which is this guy. Which there you go, Chris. I'll let you talk us through it. Because you haven't been in this oh. video yet, really. Oh, well, oh you have much. been in the video in like, the stuff from the past, but not from it's today. True. I'm everywhere. It's annoying. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is our weekend bag. Yes. Uh, 32 litre. Okay. Which is something we only worked out the other day. But um, basically, the dimensions are enough to fit a whole weekend's worth of stuff. Right, so kind of my, and I don't know if we're on the same page here, but my thoughts behind it is it's kind of like a hold all, but exactly. a hold all that you don't need to actually hold because it's got backpack straps, which is better for your spine. Exactly, yeah. Okay. So the idea is you can open it like this. Pack it flat. Yep. So if you've got Jim Chapman size feet, what's, right. what size feet are we talking about? Size 11, you know. Okay, that's a good size. I don't, I don't mess around with small feet. Oh, too easy. So you're not digging down Very the bottom to get the shoes. Satisfying. Just layer it up. Right. We'll go through that in a minute. Got a laptop oh. spot here as well. And plenty of pockets on the, oh no, that's oh. the back, I forget. Plenty of pockets on the front. front. The idea behind the opening being on the back here is that you can lay it flat, you can do your packing and then kind of... Close it. Yeah. And also means people can't pick pocket in your bag. That's it. But then you've got these things here. Passport, cables. Now this iPads. is the only one that we haven't got the a fish. This is kind of a sample still, this isn't is it? This is a sample, yeah. So in the finished thing, the passport thing will be passport size. Is currently it's a bit too small. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, there's not much changing, is there? No. Just we'll have another zipper on it. Right. Because cables can go there. Cables can go here. Mm -hmm. Passport also fits in there. Yeah. And then this is for your iPad, laptop, or random socks that are Ooh, in there. How lovely. Bo bonus socks. <laughs> Speaking of socks, I want to get your opinion on these socks because I've got a thing about novelty socks. I don't like novelty socks, right? You don't and, like them. And I don't think these are novelty. They do have a reindeer on them. But Georgia is convinced that they're novelty and I want to contest that. I don't think they're novelty. Right. I do think they're out of season. Yeah, they're Christmas they, they say socks. Right, Christmas I'm zooming to into Georgia here. The end of January. Yeah, well, socks are socks, right? I need warm socks. It's two if degrees outside. In December, they're novelty. But are they... Are they novelty? Yeah. That's the question. Yes, uh, I... Wait, you just said they weren't? <laughs> no, well, I said they're out of season, which makes them novelty. If I'm wearing a Santa on my sock in a month that isn't seasonal... Reindeer exist all year round. <laughs> they're not, <laughs> not, not seasonal England. animals. Not in, not in England, England, they don't. Just because they're not in England at all. They're not native <laughs> to England. Well, they might have been years ago. Where, but... What time of year are you seeing reindeer-based imagery? <laughs> Wintery time, but... But that's only because of Christmas. That's no, it. it's just because reindeer have, have reindeer have been kind of conditioned into Christmas. Isn't they not? You know? Exactly. And your socks have got reindeer on. Ergo, December. No, I'm, socks. I'm just bucking the trend. If you had a bear or an antelope on there, they would be novelty. But I'd allow it because they're not out of season. I hate everything. I hate these bags. I hate both of you too. <laughs> Jumped off.